All right, everybody. This uh, video is going to be about how to make a coin box. It's relatively easy. You're just making a ball. You're squishing the balls down. You're scoring, adding slip, placing that on top. And you're just putting these coins that you're making together to construct a box. Listen for that transition. Here we go. All right, people, you want to make sure you have all your tools. Keep track of your tools. They're important. Okay, we have our clay. So you can see here I got it in my hand. I'm going to break it down. We're going to make it into a ball. Yes, like, a, like one of those large super balls, about that size. You can make them bigger. You can make them smaller. As long as you have a box, this is the basic creative process behind it. A lot of you are going to just follow my instructions to a T. I wouldn't mind some creativity on making the box. This is just an instructional video on how to get started. You can make a triangle box, you can make a square box, rectangle, rhombus, octagon, whatnot. So you can see I have the balls, or the spheres, the clay balls, and then I'm squishing them down, making them like skipping stones. You see how thick they are? That was quick, wasn't it? So, <clears throat> they should be less than pencil thick. You don't want too thick. Make sure that you're using gooey gooey. Notice I'm scoring the clay. A lot of you forget to score the clay. Don't forget to score the clay. And you're sitting on top, adding ooey gooey, and then you're just pressing the clay down into the other section of the clay, creating a bond and making the two pieces of clay into one. I'm just cutting off a little piece there uh, so that I have more of a square shape. I'm scoring all the sides because now we're going to build the walls. So I am going to score, and I add ooey gooey and press down and create my walls. Notice how I make use that tool to smooth out the crevice so it ensures that it's a seal. So that two pieces of clay are one. So I'm making more um, clay spheres, clay balls, and I'll be squishing those down to get the rest of my walls made. This project is relatively easy. The main th focus is just you're doing a basic slab by rolling balls of clay out and then squishing them down to a flat surface and then attaching them. Gooey gooey or slip and I'm going to smooth it out, press that clay down and turn two pieces of clay into one. It's basic building technique 101. This is uh, why we do this in the first month so that you learn different techniques, you apply those techniques into successful structures so you can utilize those techniques later on. It would possibly come on a, a solution for you where you are doing all the planning yourself and what artwork you want to create. So you can see here I'm getting the walls down, I'm smoothing out the corners, making sure again that two pieces of clay become one. Just setting the clay on top of it's not going to work. A lot of pieces end up breaking either in drying phase or in the kiln phase because it's not adhered uh, correctly. You didn't turn two pieces of clay into one. There's still a separation there and uh, when they expand or when the water comes out of them and they get a little bit smaller they fall apart. Play each and every time. It's kind of like an experiment. You never fully know how the end is. You have a best educated guess, but there's a lot of possibilities. A lot of things can go wrong, and a lot of things can go right. So you can see here, I am finishing up the box. I got my walls all the way around. You can build higher walls if you like, if you want a larger box. Remember, I also told you, you can. it doesn't have to be a square shape. It can be... Uh, lots of different uh, varieties of different shapes. You can make it a triangle if you want to. You can make it square, rectangle, um, parallelogram, all different kinds of stuff. There. I'm going out of frame almost, but I'm still doing the same thing, building it, smoothing out my edges, using ooey gooey. 
and I'm gonna have a nice box. I'm pressing the clay together, and boom, look at that. There is my coin box. The reason why I call it coin box is because basically uh, you're just making coins and then you're attaching them together to construct a box. You're going to have some overlap. You can see there I'm just smoothing out edges so there's no sharp edges so you don't put your finger on it. Using a little bit of water on my fingertips and just rubbing the clay back and forth. And there we go. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. I just felt like saying that because I got extra time. <laughs> so, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to upload it as soon as I possibly can. Everyone have a great and wonderful day.